So I know Esri is all about uh, some uh, GIS-based uh, software. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me specifically about uh, what you've got showing on the screen um, and specifically about what you're doing here at the Cable Show. Sure. So what Esri does in the telecommunications space is to help uh, our telecom service providers really manage their network and run uh, applications across their enterprise. So what we're showing here is an application designed to figure out, uh, help them figure out if a customer calls in, what services they could offer, um, and what, what it would take to extend a network to serve a particular customer. Uh, as well, you can see in the layer that's from blue to red, we've taken the location of all the businesses in the area and run a density analysis. This would help them if they want to figure out maybe where's the best place to expand. So you can see uh, along Route 1 here, there's a hot spot of businesses that spend a lot on telecommunications services. This would be a good place to expand. So typically, especially on the business services side, if a large company um, put in a request for service, the salesperson took that request and went down to the engineering group and they looked through their engineering drawings and you know, it was about 30 days where they returned uh, yes, no, maybe. And then it was another 30 days where they had costing information and then another 30 days before it was actually built. That's quite a long process. This tool can at least help you um, reduce the first 30 days and possibly even give you the cost information that would help you make it through the, the next cycle there um, and help the, help the customer make a, an easier decision about if, you know, if they want to go with your company for telecom services or go with a competitor. Is this the type of uh, software that, uh, for instance, a, a utility company could leverage to uh, better understand how its, uh, how its electric grid has been built and, and uh, how, where it can improve? Yeah, absolutely. We have, um, a, we're actually very prevalently, heavily used in the tel uh, utility industry um, to do everything from map out where is our network infrastructure to run analysis that says, you know, if there's, for instance, a storm approaching uh, and we know that uh, the storm is going to flood a certain area and we have older equipment in that area that's more likely to break down, we can run an analysis to say, um, you know, where are the places of points of failure most likely to be, where can our crews be ready to go in and fix those points, that sort of thing. Uh, we can also do analysis on, you know, the amount of electricity being used in an area and compare that to the electricity being charged by the meter. So, um, for instance, in internationally, there's a, a large problem with current theft. So a lot of the electric utilities are using us to do exactly that, figure out who is uh, uh, stealing current and in what areas. Now, bringing it back to the telecom space and then the cable industry, is, it, is that same type of analysis something that can benefit uh, telecom operators in terms of understanding uh, potential weaknesses based on uh, this geographic dispersion of businesses that are using services. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, like the, the example I used about if there's a storm approaching, right. you know, storms can impact telecom networks and you could set up a system using our software that and when a customer calls in and says, I have uh, an outage, you can trace them back and see exactly how they're connected uh, and see who else is connected through that same equipment that would possibly be affected uh, by an outage and do the predictive analysis too if a storm is coming in and uh, you know you have some assets in low-lying areas, that sort of thing. Excellent. Well, at the end of the day, I think uh, cutting down, simply being able to cut down from 90 to 30 or 40 days uh, as far as uh, getting services out there, that's a whole big new ball game. Yeah. Appreciate right. your time. Thank you.